All right, all you small block Mopar guys. Thought I'd show you what I've been working on here for Old Jailer's 414 stroker. Been messing with some Speedmaster heads. Actually, they're the older style. They're the Pro Comp before there was a Speedmaster. Same head as a Speedmaster, though. Now, this all came about because the only rockers I had here for a solid cam were those W2 rockers. So that got me to thinking. I saw some posts by a member on Fabo for A Bodies Only where a fella had done this. And so I thought, well, I might as well go ahead and give it a try. So just thought I'd show what I've done here. I took and laid out. If you can see here, I put in the uh, plugs, took a couple pieces of aluminum. And uh, it was a uh, 9/16 diameter, and I uh, reamed those original pushrod holes, uh, laid out where the new hole should be and the angle. It was just under six degrees, like 5.9 degrees. Did it all on my seat and guide machine. And one thing leads to another, of course. Uh, once you get the ports that wide, let me see if I can show you. Let's see, they're out to. About 133, and final they'll be about 135 once I get them all uh, CC'd the same. But with a port that wide, a standard intake wouldn't work on it. So I had to go to a W2 strip dominator. Well, that led to a different bolt pattern. So you can see I, I got some aluminum all thread from McMaster Car, and I made me some plugs here, and uh, plugged the original holes. Then I drilled and tapped the, the new holes in it. Uh, just simple stuff there. But then for the W2 rockers to fit, you know, they've got them rocker blocks. So I had to machine down the uh, stands there flat. And the W2 rockers also take 3 8 bolts. Now that was probably the toughest part of the job was getting the old 5 16 uh, Healy coils out of there. They're extra long Healy coils. And it took forever. They must have been Loctited in. Didn't think I'd ever get them out. You'd, you'd pull a little bit and they'd break off down in. Try to unwind them, it'd break break off down in. But I finally got them out. And then just a simple matter of drilling and putting some new ones. McMaster car also had the uh, extra long, I think there's an inch, just over an inch, uh, long Healy coils for that. So, uh, And they had real quick shipping. It was there the next day. So I was impressed with that. So then, the W2, of course, usually has oval ports, so I started fiddling on this strip dominator. I'm uh, getting there with it. Still got some work to do. I'll be finishing it up soon. Yeah. i take you in the shop here and show you what I used to do it uh, all with. Oh, another thing. For that intake to fit, I had to mill uh, 55 thousandths off this side. Uh, for it to fit where I wanted it to with the heads on the block with the gaskets I'm using uh, Done that on the old rotary brooch and then I just took a skim cut off the, the surface side here Just took a five thousandths cut uh, Valves are 208 and 16 and uh, I cut the valve job on them on the seat and guide machine yeah, They need cleaned up now with the layout dies all over them it's fun stuff I like to work with. Uh, me and the boys do our own stuff out here in our little shop. And, uh, we got older machines. Uh, takes takes a good while to do some of this stuff. Uh, more modern machines would, would be a lot quicker, but we enjoy it all the same. All right, I'll take you in the shop and give you a quick glance. One other quick thing I wanted to show out here that I forgot a minute ago was, you see down in there, where I broke through, I tubed those uh, bolt holes. You need to do that if you go to a 208 valve to get enough port volume down in there to feed that valve. Uh, broke through a little bit on each side. But they're JB welded in. That won't leak, not worry about it. Uh, let's see if I can flip this. You can see where that is. I still need to spot face them before I throw them on the block. To clean out the JB weld out of the inside of the brass tube. That was 916 thin wall tube. Okay, here's the main thing I use to do those offset heads, ODCM Tech, 
pretty rigid old seat and guide machine. I think it's from the late 80s. It's got a VFD drive, so uh, easy to cut valve seats without chatter. You can turn the RPM down as slow as you want. Uh, of course, the air float table, it, it tilts both directions, so you can put it for canted valve heads or hemi heads or whatever you're working on. Uh, canted valve heads, I did a set of 460s for a buddy. Uh, he's waiting for him to get those. And I got the old Van Norman rotary broach. That's what I mill stuff on. I can do blocks too, square deck them. Got the BHJ fixture. Uh, over there, we'll look at that another day. The old home needs cleaned up. It's a quick way or assist. I've done quite a few blocks on it. Got a 429 Ford block in that one. Uh, anyhow, that's just a quick view of some of the stuff. Uh, we got balance machine out of the room. Like everybody, things get cluttered. It take me a while to get to it. I got a 429 crank to balance this week, so need to get on that. But anyhow, these are the two main machines here for those offset rocker heads that I use. Yeah, one thing I forgot before I walk in the shop is uh, going with the W2 thing. I found these headers on 4A bodies only. I got them for like 250 bucks shipped. They've never been run, but they're W2 headers. Uh, inch and three quarter tubes, which is uh, bigger than the truck headers, which are only inch and five eighths. So uh, they are for a later model truck, but after test fitting them, I told on another video there that they are gonna work out just fine. They got three inch collector. So I uh, gotta whip up some spacers to put them to the standard LA uh, header bolt pattern. But I just need to get some aluminum in here to do it. I, I have a piece, but it's just short of having enough to do both sides. So uh, that's another thing I need to get coming in here. Okay, one last thing before I close out this video. thought I'd give you a shot of my cam. It's a Howard's cam. It's a solid roller. Uh, it ought to be pretty torquey for an old truck. 251, 257 at 50, and 427 lobe left. I'll flip it over and show you the other side of the card there. Uh, it's 640, 640. Uh, advertised at 283, 289. And that lobe separation ought to do me pretty good for trucks 106 ought to make a nice torquey little can all right thanks for watching and come back next time